hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please subscribe I'd really appreciate it my name's Bailey and I am bringing you six methods that I use to practice in court reporting school I am currently a court reporting student I am at 200 words per minute and it has taken me quite a long time to get to this process it's been very hard and it just takes a lot of time and dedication to be in a program like this I got a lot of questions to make this video and so I'm so happy that I could bring this to you guys today and I hope that you find it helpful and let me know down below some videos that you'd like me to make because I really love making these videos for you all the first method I use to practice is just wake up early. It's very hard when you work full-time hours and it's really hard to just make yourself sit down and practice at the machine. So in order to do that, I wake up two hours before I'm actually supposed to. So practicing is literally my number one and first priority of every single day. So. I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. I practice from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And that is just a good way for me to get my head right and to really just put my future before everything else in my life. And so I'll practice till 7 a.m. and then I will leave for work. And after I get done with work, I come home and I will practice two more hours. So that total is four hours a day. The second method I use is basically feeding off of the first method and that is spending at least four hours a day towards my practice time. Spending at least four hours a day totals out to be 20 hours at least a week of practice time if you're just including weekdays and that is going to show a huge improvement in your practice and your ability to be a court reporter. See it wrote on my schedule. I know that I have the time to do it, so I might as well just sit down and get it done. And when I do that, I feel so much better because I know that I'm closer to achieving my goals. The third tip or practice method that I have is to warm up. And by warming up, I usually like to make lists of frequent words that are small words that are fairly easy, but as you get up to faster speeds, it can be easier to drop them or not remember the strokes for them. So I definitely like to warm up with frequent words and I make lists upon lists of frequent words and my teacher that I had also did the same. So she really helped me out with that. To warm up, I like to refer back to the basics. So I like to, you know, go through the alphabet. I like to go through my theory book and just look at small frequent words and do drills from that. And I also just like to watch, you know, a TV show sometimes to do a nice little warm up. My fourth method is to look for hard copy. Practicing hard copy is really important and that's basically just stepping away from your machine for a little bit and really memorizing your briefs and strokes. I like to make tons of lists of problem words that I have and words that I, I'm not the best at remembering. So I will write all of them down in a journal that I keep and then I will go back to my machine and stroke them out multiple times until I build that hand. That's really helped me a bunch. The fifth method that I have for practicing is to use podcasts. Podcasts are fun and they're new. Sometimes listening to the same monotone voices on, you know, real time coach or whatever type of theory that you use can kind of get old and it can be brutal. So shaking up your practice by using podcasts is really fun and helpful. And it's really important to just always be refreshing your memory so podcasts are a great way to do that see how accurate you were by playing the podcast backwards and reading off your machine the sixth and final tip or method that i use for practicing is after i've run through a test or even just practice dictation i make a list of all the words that i struggled with I go back, I define those words and practice them on and off as, you know, cool downs. Say if I did a test today, I will go back, find all the problem words that I 
had and words that I had had errors on. I will make a list of them. I will practice them on my machine multiple times and then I'll put my machine away and quit for the day. And then I will go back the next day and use those same words that I had problems with as my warm up. All right, so that was my six methods of how I practice in court reporting school. I wanna thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, I greatly appreciate it. And I thank you for your time. Please let me know down below the types of videos that you'd like me to make. And also, please go follow me on Instagram. I new photos all the time. I love Instagram. And it's also a great way for me to connect with you all and to just chat one on one. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your love and support. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.